My boy is back and I'm in a southern mood on this Angus prom day. To my recollection, deviled eggs are a southern dish. And not to insult any of you southerners, I just have a little bit of carnivore in me today. And if you make deviled eggs with non-carnivore ingredients, high quality, pasture raised, organic, it actually becomes a simple, delicious dish that can be 100% carnivore. I'm not exactly a fan of Vital Farms because they still feed the chickens corn and soy, although organic, it's certainly better than the eggs that the average person is consuming, but you know they're charging eight, nine dollars a dozen for these, so you can easily go to your local farm and get much higher quality eggs at that price. The other ingredients here will compose what we're adding to the deviled eggs at the end on the left what's in the mayonnaise on the right, and what's in the middle actually goes in both. So mayonnaise and deviled egg mix have salt, mustard, and vinegar in common. We're going to make a very simple mayonnaise, which we've done in the past with duck fat, and I believe we've used maybe beef tallow, pork fat, and butter as well. I have three oils that I happen to have in my cabinet. This is macadamia nut oil, not really fitting, but it is a liquid, a bit too nutty tasting, Extra virgin organic olive oil. Not the best choice, not the worst choice. I think this is what we'll be using today, and I did happen to have some organic high oleic peanut oil. This is not really good for you, but you know, compared to the standard American diet composed of canola oil, soybean oil, this is definitely better than those if you have it. And it's a neutral oil, whereas the olive oil, the macadamia oil, very strong flavored, this is kind of bland. All right, so once your water's at a boil, we're just gonna put six eggs in and I like adding the eggs when the water is hot because it immediately releases the protein in the egg from the shell so they will be easier to peel. These need to go for about 10 minutes. So while the eggs are boiling, we have plenty of time to make our mayonnaise. I suggest using a type of blender where you can pour the oil in. Otherwise, this can kind of overheat and make the mayonnaise split, which ruins it. So we're gonna crack in one egg, blend it for about 10 seconds. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of vinegar, half a teaspoon of mustard, about a teaspoon of salt. We're going to blend that another 10 seconds. Now we're going to start drizzling in the oil very slowly. Now keep in mind, this is not going to be as thick as Hellman's mayonnaise, unless you use some sort of additive, but it should be like a pudding consistency. All right, so after our eggs have boiled for 10 minutes, I'm gonna dump most of the water out, start filling it up with cold water, and crack some ice cubes in there. So we're gonna let this fill up and these should cool off in a few minutes. So now here's the reason people don't make deviled eggs is because it's a little laborious. So what I like doing is, tapping the egg on a flat surface and I just peel. Once you get it started, you should be able to take most of the shell off you know, within 10 seconds. Nothing too crazy. If it's not coming off this quickly, you did something wrong. So just a nice light tap around the whole egg on a flat surface. Start peeling the egg gently. Then once you can kind of get under that skin albumin, you can really start taking off big pieces very fast. Why don't you guys uh, drop a like on the video, share it on social media, so Frankie can afford to pay some Russian girls to make you guys deviled eggs and send them out from the farm before I lose my mind. Another very simple part, we're just gonna slice the eggs in half vertically, very gently with a sharp knife. Now we're gonna ruin these cute little eggs by taking the yolk out. And what you do is you kinda of like pull the white away from the yolk and it should just come right out. The little yolk is stuck, you can just rub the inside gently with your fingers. All right, so we have our six egg yolks here. I'm just gonna start mashing them up with a fork. Now we're gonna take a quarter cup of our mayo, which is actually solidified a little further. 
I would say about half mayo, half egg yolks. Then with that, you want to add a little more salt, another teaspoon of salt, another half teaspoon of mustard. The recipes usually call for more mustard, but they tend to overdo it, so I like being on the safe side. A couple cracks of black pepper. Make sure not to sneeze while doing this, otherwise Fauci might knock down your door and stick a swab up your butt. Now you want to get really crazy. You can pass this through a sieve, put it in a pastry bag, and then pipe it really beautifully into, into the eggs. That's what I would do if you're serving this to someone. So you have your sieve, another bowl, and a spatula. Put everything in the sieve. Now you just kind of go a little crazy, and this will start coming through the other end. And underneath, you always want to scrape this off. That's where almost half of it is. Now you could do this if it's a special occasion, if it's a party, if you want it to look really pretty, but it's more plastic exposure for your food. And right now, we haven't exposed this to any plastic, so I don't really want to do that. But what you would do is you cut the tip of this off, fill it up, pipe it. They sell cloth pastry bags. You know, they do sell safe alternatives. One last mix. Here we go. Now you can definitely do it faster by using your finger to just nudge it in there. You know, I'm not doing any artsy presentation for Instagram. I'll leave that to my Russian girlfriend, Victoria. Now the final step, which I've seen on every deviled egg recipe ever, is some smoked paprika. And I'm just gonna put some on the tip of a butter knife, and then I'm gonna tap the knife a little too close down to put too much on, but you wanna go high up and just gently tap the knife once or twice and that should put just enough on top and get nice light even coverage oh we made fancy eggs but this is probably gonna oh please tell me you didn't add spice to this fancy eggs gina do you know what these are called deviled eggs oh you do have you had them before no but i'm actually uh but uh i don't remember the time you ate goat head that was a couple years ago yeah I'm so, so I'm so surprised you didn't get the nickname Devil. <laughs> well, hopefully I can digest this. <laughs> so my sister was having some digestive oh. issues with eggs, mainly because my dad was giving her like the conventional feedlot eggs, which are high in omega six. I'm gonna take a bite. Hopefully, I don't kill myself. Hopefully, this doesn't give my digestion problems. Well, let's see. Here we go. Look how stomach hair it comes. Mmm. Why is it spicy? Mmm. <coughs> There's no way these are spicy. Let me try one. I think I had got one in. It's pretty good. Mmm. Mmm, it's pretty good. These aren't spicy at all. Mm. Very tasty. I wish I could get None of the ingredients really stick out that much. It's very pleasant. It's very balanced. Mm. Not too much mustard. You don't get too much of the olive oil pepper, not too much of the paprika. One more egg. Perfectly Just smooth like. texture on the yolk because we passed it through the sieve. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty necessary. Mmm, so good. But you guys will really love this if you try it. I think oh. kids will really like this too. It's very soft, very palatable. Mm. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, definitely, as I said, drop a like on the video. Share mm -hmm. on social media. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and check the notification icon so they don't notify you of my videos. Hopefully, mm -hmm. with your guys' continued support in the very near future, we'll have full Frankie's meat operation up and running, including pastured eggs, high quality dairy products, yep. everything you guys need Look to make yourselves are. and your family happy and healthy. So you were having digestive issues recently with eggs, but before yes. that, when I was cooking you eggs, you didn't, right? Yeah, I didn't before, but I think it was like the crappy quality eggs that my dad all right, let's be nice today, Gina. But if you have a problem with eggs, you definitely have to go high quality. No, I think I'll Most of you guys on my channel are already doing oh. that, but keep that in mind. I can't stop eating this. So let's save some for tomorrow, Gina. Mm. Thanks again, guys. Mm.